love science, yes we do. We love science, yes we do. We love science, science you. We love science, science you. When I say science, you say you. Science you. Science you. Today, campers are getting Manduka caterpillars to find out how they find their food. This is a caterpillar. It's a Manduka caterpillar. It's spongy. This caterpillar is about four inches long and it's got deep V's marks on its side. If you notice the horn on its bottom and then mandibles for munching. Use those mandibles for munching. Nom, 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 nom. These are very hungry, hungry caterpillars. They love to eat. A caterpillar can eat 64 square inches a day. And all that food gives them enough energy to turn into an adult hawk moth. They're huge. So what kind of food do they eat? Manduka caterpillars like solanaceous plants, like potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers, just like us. Given the choice, the Manduka caterpillar will choose the solanaceous leaves every time. But how do they find the food? I think they smell with their tiny antenna on their head. I think they use their sight with their little eyes right there. So do they find their food by seeing it or smelling it? So let's test it. We'll take a solanaceous leaf and seal it in a plastic container so they can see it but not smell it. And then we'll take some green mesh so we can camouflage the leaves so they can't see it but they can smell it. Let's see which one they can find. On your marks, check, go! That one. I think it's the smell. They go straight for the mesh even though they can't see the leaves. Yep, every time. We can tell that Monduka caterpillars find their food by sense of smell. Their nose is so good, they smell better than your dog at home. But do all caterpillars find their food this way? Maybe you can catch a wild caterpillar in your neighborhood and test it out. 